Now that we've seen how the route is determined in the sales order, let's have a look at the option of redetermining the route when we create the delivery. It is an option, so you don't have to use it. And if you don't use it, when you create the delivery, the system will just copy the route from the sales order to the delivery. However, if you do turn on the route redetermination, we would want to use the weight groups. So if I go to shipping, routes, route determination, and define weight groups, as you can see here, I have different groups, and it's basically just a range. So as you can see here, I have weight group 01, 02, 100, 9999, and they are all up to a particular range. So now, let's have a look at the configuration behind the weight group 1, 10, 100, and 99. So it's slightly, it's quite simple actually. What you do is for each unit of measure, for each weight group range, yeah, you, you, you define the maximum it can have. And you can see here the unit of measure here is grams. So the weight groups to the maximum of a particular range expressed in grams. So weight group 10 is the same as the kilogram. So you can see here, if I have a look, if you look at, oops, let me go back in. Uh, so weight 10, here you can see 10 is in 10,000 uh, 10, grams and the tonnage for 10 is 0 0.01 ton. And in kilograms, here it's, oops, uh, let me just take this out, it's a bit confusing, uh, unselect all of them. So you can see here for weight group 1, it's 1 kilo, right, so maximum is until 1 kilo. Weight group 10 is from 1, ki 10 is the maximum of 10 kilos or 10,000 grams. So there's a different weight unit of measures there or 0 0.01 tons. So they're all the same, just expressed in different units of measures. Yeah, so that is just in case the sales orders have different units of measures. Now, if we look at a hun if we look at a hundred, it's the same, 100,000 grams, 100 kilograms, or 0 0.1 tons. And the way the weight group works is that the system will say, okay, I have a weight, in which band does it belong to? Yeah. So it looks at the lowest band and say, is the weight below this band? And if the answer is no, it'll go to the next one. And then it'll say, is it in between the, the lowest band and the, high, the second band? If it's not, then it keeps on going up and up and up. It just looks at a kind of range level. And that is actually how the weight group works. So let's go back out and look. let's have a look at the root determination again. But this time, let's have a look at the root determination based on weight. So if I put in my customer and my shipping point, I have it here. And let's do the weight. And as you can see, there's no entries. So if I were to create a new entry, oops, not copy, create a new entry, I put in the shipping condition again, the transport group has on the material master. And this time I have the option to put the weight group in. So let's open it up. And as you can see, we have the range of one kilo and so forth. So I'll put in the root 0012. And let me fill it up. So while I'm filling it up, what you can see is I'm creating um, the next range, so 10 kilos, and putting in the same route again and again. So what I'm saying is for each band of weight, choose this particular route. And even up to 100 kilos, I'm still choosing route 12. And for the shipping condition, as you can see, if I say anything above 100 kilos, 9999, choose the a route. 
and we press enter so you can see here the system will always choose route 12 unless the delivery is over 100 kilos and then it will choose route A000 so let me save this it's a configuration so it'll ask me for a transport I'll save it and that's it the next thing to do if let's go back is to make sure that we redetermine the route when we create the delivery so it's in this redetermine route by delivery type as you can see here you have the option of to redetermine let's have a look at the options here you have blank or you have A which is to redetermine without check and B is redetermine with check so by default I usually use option A if I want to redetermine let's have a look at LF and you can see here it's configured to A new route determination without check so if I go back out and save that that means that when I create the delivery this, this system will redetermine the route now this final one is the actual route for deliveries is to allow you to swap routes if it's left blank that means you cannot swap the route if you put it in that means you can replace a route with another route uh, it's, a, it's good to control so you can say okay if I have this range of routes I can always replace it with another range of routes um, and it's used really to control the users to allow them what to swap the last thing you want is for them to is for the system to automatically d determine the route and the users incorrectly then update the route to something that's not right so you use this piece of config here to say what they can and cannot replace knowing what we know now let's have a look at the business case with our newfound knowledge of roots and see where it is reapplied so the point here is as you can see the customer is divided into four regions and the freight forwarder is selected based on regions so let's divide that again so we have the region of north we have the region of here south we have central and we have one more region called midlands it's actually the midlands of the UK that's why it's called midlands so four regions and the freight forwarder is selected based on region so what we are going to say is that for each of these regions the delivery time is two days to the north Midlands is one day Central is one day and the south of the England is one day so we now have our journey time and what we are going to do is to say we are going to have four routes one for each region and we're going to call it just simply route 1 route 2 route 3 and route 4 and against each of these routes we will have a transit time of one day each except for the north where the transit time is two days yeah, pretty simple straightforward configuration we also have a requirement here where parcel shipments of anything less than 10 kilos are shipped by parcels and what we are going to do is we are going to now configure uh, or redetermine the route at the delivery side so if so once we reach lower than the 10 kilos or so it will go by parcel and we will create the route parcel 1 for this parcel 1 will be our route for anything less than 10 kilos this brings the total number of routes to 5 1 per each region and 1 for anything below 10 kilos we will assign the journey time or the route time as you can see one day for all except for the north which is two days each route will have its own forwarding agent and we will turn on route determination when we create the delivery because we want to use 
we want to catch anything that's below 10 kilos and reassign it to the root called parcel 1. So as you can see here, this business case uses all of the root determination functionality to manage and to segregate. So by the time we create the delivery, we know where the delivery needs to go, how long it takes, who's going to manage it, and, and, and how the logistics process is going to flow. So in, in the next uh, lecture, let's have a look at how we create the delivery itself.